Hey, welcome to Tuesday Tablescape Topics. Today, I want to talk with you very briefly about Wilton Armetal. Have you heard of it? I had not until just this past weekend. So I wanted to share with you what I learned and maybe you'll find it helpful. Now, if you're not familiar with it, like I wasn't, they are pieces of dishes and other dishware that's made to look like pewter or silver, but does not contain those elements. And the way I learned about this is because I went to an estate sale and I found a set of these uh, salad plate size dishes. And not knowing anything about them and being obviously naive, I thought they were pewter. So I went online to figure out how to clean them because they are filthy. They're so dirty. And I also wanted to know if I'd be able to eat off of them because I didn't know. Now, when I took a picture and I shared it with a group that I um, connect with online, they informed me, which kind of was a bit of a clue you can't see because of the back of this plate is being so dirty. But they said on there Wilton and Columbia, PA, meaning Pennsylvania, which was an immediate clue to all of this group who already knew about Wilton Armatol. And Armatol stands for Art Metal because the company was um, asked to produce something that looked like pewter, but could actually be food safe because most pewter has lead in it. You can't eat off of it. And the line that they created, multiple lines and lots of things that they did in different styles with the whole purpose to be able to eat off of. So that's what I've learned about Walton Armatol looks like pewter, is not pewter, but is actually a very food safe metal that you can wash, clean, and eat directly off of. So let me share a little bit more about it with you and give you some close-ups of it because I actually am really kind of obsessed with it at the moment. So again, here's the plate that I found. I got uh, six or eight of these and they are salad size super dirty if you kind of look at it, and it does look like pewter when you're looking up close. So to clean it, I needed to figure out what to do. So first I washed it with soap and water and it got a little bit of the grime out, but these are pretty heavily coated with ick. So I did a little bit of research and I discovered not to use Barkeeper's Friend because of these plates being primarily on the aluminum base. And my understanding was don't clean um, aluminum with Barkeeper's Friend. Probably it could probably etch it um, a little too much. So my next thought, what I grabbed because I have pieces that need to be cleaned with this is Brasso. And or Brasso, Brasso, however you pronounce it, which is great for stainless, chrome, aluminum, pewter, bronze, and brass and copper. So the only thing I'm gonna give you a fair warning on, I love using this stuff, but to me, it stinks. I mean, I just, we all have masks from COVID. Put one of those on, save your nose a little bit because as soon as I open and start using it, I'm always like, oh, it just, it's bad. Anyway, wash your Wilton Armatol with soap and water first, then grab a sponge. Now, depending on how bad your plate dishes are, depends on um, what side of your sponge you're gonna use. So it actually says, get your sponge wet. I get it damp and wring it out. And then I actually take and put the Brasso directly on my plate. It does tell you on the directions to put it on the sponge first. I don't find that to be as effective, to be honest. This is just what works for me. So I take and I put it on my plate, put the stuff on my plate directly, take the sponge, scrub, 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 scrub. And I wanna share with you, this is a plate I've done where you can see half has, I've cleaned, and the other half I have not. I mean, take a look at that. Isn't that amazing how different it is and how it looks? 
I will tell you with how heavily dirty these were, it t takes some elbow, you know, elbow grease to really get in there and get it cleaned as much as I can. And I did want to show you, you know, how I stopped at half because, and I kind of did the same on the back as well, to give you an idea of kind of that before and after. I did though completely clean one of the plates to share with you and it looks so awesome. I mean, look at that silver color. I love, love this dull satin. It's gorgeous. I can picture using this on um, a rustic table setting, a farmhouse kind of table setting. I can see it being used over holidays, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter, whatever it is. And the neat thing about this Wilton Armatol is since you can eat directly off of it, I mean, it's an actual plate. It's not necessarily a charger. You could use it as a charger. You could put a plate on top of it if you just kind of wanted to use it that way. But with it being metal, I understand they used to use it in restaurants for salads. Think about that, how cool this would keep your salad. It would be nice and crisp. But before I get into it a little bit further, I'm gonna show you before and after. I mean, look at that those are two totally different plates and that's why i had to share with you today my quick little topic on wilton armatol and if you come across it it's food safe snatch it up you can use it oh before i forget disclaimer do not put it in the dishwasher everybody's told me don't put it in the dishwasher it will turn it black i've not put mine in the dishwasher i'm not going to do that test so Hand wash only, that is probably a little bit of a negative for some of us, but think about how versatile and unique these plates can be on your next table setting. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about Wilton Armatol. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.